for someone who hates summer as much as I do, I sure go all out for the Festival of Lunasad. I'm author Gwen Elise Clayton, and in my Rivervine trilogy books, I talk about the four pre-Christian Celtic holidays that take place at the cross quarters of the seasons. The event between the summer solstice and autumn equinox is called Lunasad named after the Irish god Lu. He was a mighty warrior who was very wise and famous for his long arm from which he threw his magical spear. It is also a celebration of the first harvest of the season. The stars of this show are usually grains, berries, honey, and whatever else might be in season in your neck of the woods. When the Celtic lands became Christianized, the holiday was renamed Lamas, the old English word meaning loaf mass, and was a time to bless the first loaves of bread of the season. The holiday is still celebrated by Wiccans, Druids, and other neo-pagans. And although the actual cross quarter of the summer solstice and autumnal equinox is August 6th, most Celebrants use the Gregorian calendar and plan their festivities around August 1st or the closest weekend to it. In this week's episode of the River Vine YouTube channel, we'll be taking a field trip to West Virginia, where we will visit the Glade Creek Grist Mill inside Babcock State Park. We'll also be doing a local small shopping haul for Halloween goodies at Tamarack Marketplace, and we will have a fabulous lunch at the Briar Garden Beer Garden in Lewisburg, where we will pick up a pretzel loaf to bless at our Lunasad feast that we will make at home. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Our day started with a local small shopping hall at Tamarack Marketplace in Beckley. This is the ultimate site for all things made in West Virginia. There's artwork, books, sundries, wine, beer, and fiesta wear. So first we have the ghosts lunch luncheon plate. This was the very last one they had. And the matching tapered mug and the mystical Halloween pattern luncheon plate. This was the only, there's three different designs for their mystical Halloween pattern, but the only one that they had available was the skull. That's not really my favorite. My favorite is the raven. The raven on top of the books, that's what I like. But the skull is okay, and the potions are pretty cool but that's their mystical Halloween pattern. And then I've been collecting their Twilight series. I um, This kind of goes with my Polish pottery that I got in Denver, and I've always loved Fiesta wear. So I got the, the Bistro, I bought these Bistro mugs last year when we went there the first time. And then this last trip, I got the these little I don't know, saucer, saucer plates or whatever they're called, and then the luncheon plates for that. And I also picked up the Baton, I keep calling it Baton Hollow Winery. I think it's Baton Hollow Winery. They had a Zinfandel. It's very hard to find a Zinfandel out here. And I went on their website, and they don't sell it on their website, so I'm glad they sold it at Tamarack. And then I got... Fall Colors and Woodland Harvests by Laurel Hill Press. So, that looks interesting. So I'm interested in, um, I'm looking forward to reading this. Then we went to Babcock State Park where I got an exclusive interview with Brad, the new miller of Glade Creek Grist Mill. Now this is an active mill, it, correct? It is still a fully functioning mill. We were actually built here in 1976 using parts and lumber from three other mills that have been in operation here in West Virginia since the 1800s, about the 1850s time frame. 
It was actually built to stand as a living, breathing monument and memorial to the 500 plus mills used to operate here in West Virginia, including the original mill that stood on the other side of the creek between the two pine trees that burned down in 1920, just a few years before the park got here. So how did you, how did you get this job? Luck. I actually started off as maintenance and the pre for the park for the park itself mm -hmm. and the previous miller started having some health issues so in the fall when we were no longer running he decided to take a couple days off and they needed somebody to work it answer the questions and so me being the new guy on maintenance I got put in here to answer all the questions well I did well enough and had no problems over here so he decided to fully retire and so they asked me if I wanted to fully take over so the following year I came in two days before we fully opened and learned the ropes uh, running everything and since then I've been just picking it up as I go what do you mill here nowadays we just grind corn yellow corn into corn mill however we used to also do buckwheat and white corn mill as well but it's hard to get a hold of that nowadays. Not enough farmers in the area still grow it. Okay. But I'm trying to get up to the buckwheat festival and see if I can get a, a supply of buckwheat again for the park. You can buy the finished product at the gift shop. The next day, we headed to Lewisburg in Greenbrier County, where we had a fabulous lunch at the Briar Garden Beer Garden and went home with our Lunasad pretzel loaf. On Monday, August 1st, we had our celebratory feast. We're cooking foods purchased at the Boyd County Farmer's Market. So we've got corn on the cob that was grilled, half runner beans with onions that were sauteed, and roasted Cornish game hen. And of course, the star of the show is, da da da, the braided pretzel loaf served on the little ghost plate from Fiesta Ware and paired with an Odin's Nectar Honeymead from Stonebrook Winery in Melbourne, Kentucky. We chinged our glasses of mead to the celebration of Lunasad and blessed our precious pretzel loaf. For dessert, I made a parfait in our Twilight Fiesta Ware Bistro mugs using Eddie Vanilla Ice Cream and fresh peaches we bought at the grocery store and topped it with ginger snaps. It was so good. If you found this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Rivervine YouTube channel for more quality content from the Utopia of Rivervine. I'm your host, Gwen Elise Clayton. I drop videos every Tuesday evening. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.